Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, we're going to be doing a reaction video to episode two of the U.S. Navy's latest series in cooperation with All Hands Magazine, uh, Boot Camp, Making a Sailor. Again, episode two. So, uh, found out about this series through my boy, JT Suits. What a fam! So, uh, if you all are watching this video, make sure to hit the like button, make it hot, make it spicy, make it juicy, make it plump, and uh, make it thick with three C's for my boy, Papa, and stuff like that. So, anyway guys, we're going to be going through the series, um, just going to be going through the episodes one by one, time's recording, there's four episodes out, so if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt, that's why. <laughs> so anyway guys, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so here we are, episode two of Boot Camp, Making a Sailor. Let's begin. Like I said, I remember these buses very vividly, man. <laughs> what I get myself into. Question number one for me. Oh, Let's shit. Go. Let's go! Power, hurry up! Oh, man. Hurry up! Let's go, female! Everybody's hurry been up. telling me about hurry this, up. dude. Uh, they call Let's him the go. Lizard King. No fast for you! Damn, son. Um, I, I don't know if he was around during my time in, and get in the building. Uh, move, move, but he's move, definitely a legend in uh, like, Great Lakes, what did I give for sure. Into? Nobody can like escape the collage. The bus, watching the little video, trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> And then oh, as man. soon as we That's get another off thing, the bed, man. Like, like it's immediate. You guys gotta sleep before you have to fly no. out. Because no. you're gonna be up all night. No. So you gotta get your sleep I in, man. No matter how anxious you are, no matter how That's much, much of a I pit your stomach is making right from all the anxiety. Move. 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 Maybe it's just me. Move. Move. But you gotta get Let's your go. winks in. Move down. Let's go. Damn, dude. Good no. 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 afternoon, I'm Chief Petty Officer Jamie Kalaw. I'm a recruit division commander. The Kalaw. The minute you get off the bus, there's going to be a lot of stress applied upon you. Dude's got a friggin' uh, yelling, gold go, 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 G-Shock. Can you do this? Can you get that done? I'm a little jealous, not going to lie. It's up to you to basically perform under pressure. Yeah. This dude. Look straight! Look straight! Welcome to the United States Navy. For the next eight weeks, you will not do a single thing on your own. I tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Nothing that I ever tell you is a request an option or a suggestion. So you, 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 you make it, you yeah. give you a direction and you have 0.5 seconds yep. to pay attention to it, to oh, the yeah. letter. Yep. So you you can't mess up. If you mess up, can mess then up. that's on you and it's really going to fall back then on you. Then you will roll up your pad legs three inches up. When you are done, you will be on the tow line, standing straight, looking straight, tow awaiting line. further instruction. <laughs> you have 15 seconds. Go! Go! Hurry up! Go. Fucking get there, dude. Let's go! Let's go. I say behind you! Oh, man. Behind you! Not next to you! Is that touching your heels? No, it's not! Fix it! Pull Fix your it off! Fix Pull it! it off! He said get Damn, down son. to the last shirt with sleeves! Maybe I wasn't loud enough. Maybe you couldn't understand me. Fix yourself! Damn. Now! I thought it was gonna be uh, <laughs> a little bit more relaxed, but a little bit more relaxed. definitely isn't. A lot more intense than I did think it was. Gonna be. I, I, I love how they're like that? how they're muting their Australian accents. You must love <laughs> like, getting special yes, attention. Yes, I am from USA, uh, mate. No chief. Get out of attention. Oh, this fucking now. dude. Oh my god. What's with them hand tattoos, dog? Oh I'm shit. I'm pretty sure that I said your hands will never be behind you. Your hands will never be in front of you! Damn. What is your problem? The claw strikes. <laughs> Proper military bearing will be maintained 24-7 and it starts tonight. Do you understand me? Yes, Chief. I can't hear you. Do you understand yes, me? Yes, Chief! Damn. Yeah, that was the hardest for me. Just to, like, yeah. not even argue the point. <laughs> Just take it. Yeah, yeah they're, they're trying so hard to mute their Australian accents. This row's gonna fall out, and then that row. Let's go. All right. Oh yeah, the whiz quiz. Y'all gotta study for the whiz quiz, man. Make sure you come in hydrated. I didn't. I didn't come in hydrated, so I had to uh, do some extra studying for the whiz quiz. Basically, it just involves rotating around, taking a drink, rotate around. Oh, this fucking dude. You grab that. 
We got our sea bag, Man. which was the big green duffel bag that you have yep, to carry. Sea bag. You take all of your personal Those items. Those things are like, like really all of your useful, clothing, man. Your shoes, like everything you arrive. Even in, when I was out in the box, fleet, like I would use on, them uh, when go, coming home. home on leave. Just and then stuff a shit ton of clothes in there everything. and. From stuff like that. T-shirts that we're wearing to like, the PT clothes, the sneakers. I fit almost Nothing my whole thing came with in a friggin' sea bag, dude. Hairbrush and a few personal items. You know, gets to stay with you. Yeah. I knew that I would have to carry my own luggage. Like there was no bellman service here, but well, yeah, no shit. I didn't expect all of my <laughs> things to be that heavy. Like when I was filling it up, I was like, okay, great. This is so convenient. Everything fits in this little green bag. Wonderful. Uh, and then I had to put it on. It wasn't like and as heavy as I so thought. Okay, uh, then I mean, set now. It was it was stuffed as uh, much as it could you know, be, but it wasn't super heavy. Night. And I don't know how I am awake right maybe now this moment. 40, 50 pounds? And I've been in my feet, and my feet are dying. Do you think that's heavy? So, that's it. I'm exhausted. My Mine wouldn't be asking to lift it. Off. You guys can lift it, too. So. And <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah. Yeah, the first couple days, you're going to be up all day and all night. I sleep at night. Yeah, I nearly, you know, I nearly fell asleep standing. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't get these I'm stories of people, like, not falling asleep right at meds, man. Like, not even trying to, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's definitely getting it's a hard, lot tougher for. But recruits. trust me, guys. Pretty sure you're gonna I have said you to, will uh, sound off. to sleep, man. What the fuck? Yes, is this? chief. Uh, oh, these dudes got yes, caught with chief. their cell phones. Oh man. Did I say walk back on the tow line? Oh I didn't. no. Oh man, the claws. Do gonna you know get where you're at? You're in the jungle, baby. <laughs> I mean. Respond. Say something. Yes, chief. No, chief. Maybe, chief. What is it? Yes, Chief. Because responding is not an option. Damn. From what other people would say, and like how they said that they've kind of they've got a bit softer because of um, like the era that we're in. But no, oh, I man. Still, like, <laughs> Another so, Australian accents are back. There is a reason for everything that we do here. Well, you yeah. Still that pressure. Absolutely. So what is it doing next to you, huh? That's what Let me mean. guess. You want? Ah, no, no. Oh, he didn't. Uh, now you want to fix it. Maybe had you just done the right thing the first time, you wouldn't be in this situation. Uh, Your boy getting lit again, up. When, when you do <laughs> get to the fleet, we want to make sure that you you fight and you don't fold. Absolutely, boot camp, absolutely. Like Navy boot camp. You are. I agree with the hundred percent, man. Navy. You know, I, I expected it to be hard. No. I'm not a star. No chief. I'm not a chief. Oh. No chief. Oh. No <laughs> no I told them all the time. Uh. This is more your navy than it is mine. Yeah. Uh, years from now, I'm gonna retire, and you're gonna take over my spot. And I let them know that yeah. I want to make sure. I that's can for tell my that's wife for real, man. That we're safe like, like nobody because stays in the military for the rest of their life. And I know for sure because unless it's for unfortunate be circumstances. Going down the speedway, but, uh, the balls from the left. Meet you always got to train your elite. You know first. that's something Everybody that you guys should definitely take out with you out to the fleet. It's always going that going with that mentality of. To always train you your elite because you're not going to be at that command or on that ship right, so the for the rest the of your life. That's recruit. Sound you know, that's recruit. You may be there only a Fall couple off. years, but there you got to train your elite, man. There. That's Once we receive them, we very important. put them in division. So we assign them uh, oh, to the Smurfs, divisions baby. as we need them. And then around uh, P-Day Smurfs in the morning. Once they, everybody goes, they still through got their civilian glasses, process, man. Then the in processing barracks team. Picks them up and takes them to Chow, and from there, you know, later on that, later on a few hours. From oh, there, the compartment! Oh. Oh, Let's man. go! Hurry up! Super bunk! Oh man, fill me with the nostalgias, dude. <laughs> Better find the bunk. Goodness. Yeah, I just want to get bouquet finished. <laughs> I like challenges. Just uh, a like, just a little a uh, little pro and, tip. Um, I, mean, I would suggest yeah, getting a, lo a bottom bunk. Uh, yeah, for reasons okay. that will become very it's clear cool. later on. I have a very set um, goal of what <laughs> I'm here to do. Definitely get a bottom bunk, I have bunk, to get man. yelled at, I'm getting yelled at, and that's fine. I know it's so cool to be on the top weeks, bunk. I plan to bottom be bunk has its advantages. So I don't have Just time saying. to fight with anyone or to get in any type of trouble. Or you know, you that say that now. Because that's not what I'm here for. You it's say that now. In and out. And I hope, you, I hope you hold on to that. Just get out of here. Yeah. But <laughs> we'll see. It's only episode two, guys. Like I thought it just comes with going to boot camp that you were going to graduate, but you have to earn this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely harder than I thought it was. You know. If you fuck up too much, what? Hey, the Smurfs look different. 
the, the top shirt looks fine, but the, the bottoms look different. Because the ones that I had had navy on the sides instead of just like on the top uh, left leg. But yeah, P days, baby. Get there. So yeah, that was episode two of Making a Sailor, and I really enjoyed this one, man. Um, I think uh, I think Chief Claus got a lot of uh, good uh, good little nuggets of wisdom here and there. Um, you know, he, you see the reason why he's uh, doing all this and you know yelling and getting in your face and all this kind of stuff. You know, it's to to train his reliefs because eventually one day, you know. You guys are gonna be the ones that are gonna take over once he's once he's out, man. You know, and that's that's kind of the mentality that you should go into the military with. You know, you may not see it when you're in boot camp because you're just starting out, but uh, you know, once you get out to the fleet, you know, you always have to have that mindset of training your reliefs and you know, basically leaving a place better than what you found it. And you know, it's just kind of how the military is. Like nobody can be in the military forever. You know, eventually you're going to retire or, you know, something will happen. And uh, you just have to have your uh, your division, your ship ready for for that. So, in any event, guys, um, that does it for this episode of Andy Talks Navy. Doing my little reaction to uh, making a sailor. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Son. Signing for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.